Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We've got a great show for you guys today. We're going to be covering the Broncos releasing Russell Wilson, um, President Joe Biden, LeBron James, and Nike congratulate Caitlin Clark, um, the Cowboys, uh, to exercise $4.25 million roster bonus for Trey Lance. And make sure that you guys stick around for later in the show when we'll be diving into the oddities of the day. Before I start, I'd like to ask that you guys like and follow the show. Also, we get a number of questions from the viewers that come in during the show. So to ensure that your question gets right on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. The tips and donation link is gsmcpodcast.net. This puts your question at the top of the list so that I can see it. And it also just really helps the show. Hello, Tate. How are you? Hello, Faith. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so Hoping everything goes swimmingly today <laughs> instead of how it happened yesterday. Yesterday was hilarious to me. I'm sorry it was yesterday because, was a mess. <laughs> you know, we always have technical difficulties on Mondays. Don't yes. even know why. Why Mondays? Why do we have it's these just technical the curse difficulties? Of Mondays. Of... It's the curse of Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and people, we could have technical issues as well. What happened yesterday was the power went out midway through. Mm -hmm. So we made it through the first segment. And then I heard Faith talking about the fact that I was eating on air and then the power went out. And I instantly changed her name to Furious Faith. <laughs> because <laughs> she had been talking about like not wanting to be stuck by herself right now. <laughs> and then ultimately she had no choice but to be stuck by herself. Then I find out later. My audio that... was not working, <laughs> so it didn't even matter. <laughs> no, it didn't even matter. Faith was bragging about all the technical issues on my side, and it was like nothing she was saying yesterday was being recorded. Well, because normally the technical issues are on my side of the fence, <laughs> and so I was like, well, at least it wasn't my fault. And then I go to edit the show to uh, upload on YouTube, and the, enti the entire hour and 15 minutes, <laughs> you couldn't hear anything I was saying. And I was like, great, See? that's just fabulous. <laughs> With the with the double faith, I mean, with the the double F, faith free, <laughs> the faith free <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> it was just, it was just, you were just eye candy on the show, faith. You were none of your boys <laughs> matter. You were just there, just like, like a I'm hand here model. Be, I'm, here, I'm here to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> because you were you were totally cut out on this one all together. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, <laughs> so. it was definitely that was yesterday was like the Monday of all Mondays that will go down in history for the rest of my life. When people ask me, you know, what's the what's the worst Monday you've ever experienced? And it will oh, always geez. be GSMC podcast, <laughs> March Listen. 4th, 2024. <laughs> I still remember this is this is when. Some of the sports shows were two hours long. It was like an hour and a half, two hours long. Mm -hmm. And one of the, one of the show hosts were in the studio, and they they came out. They they killed it. Mm -hmm. And it was the, it was their best episode ever. They were all doing yeah. the little humble brag and everything, and realized <laughs> none of the show was recorded at all. Knocked out two hours of air just. Just I in a room mortified. by yourself, <laughs> like at least, you know, you could hear me, I could hear you. Someone, someone heard Faith's voice. Yeah. Imagine you're, you're in a <laughs> studio, just, just hamming it up. Yeah. Having mm -hmm. the time of your life thinking, feeling yourself. This is the yeah. best show I've ever done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Felt so freeing out. <laughs> <laughs> surprise yeah. surprise <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> oh, rough, that rough would day be... yesterday <laughs> so we we didn't even realize we had layers of problems going on all mm -hmm. at once yeah here's something else i want to share with you guys and how bad the level of how bad things were going the power goes out and i'm like oh 
oh my god and then i look over and then my dog is sick and has diarrhea right on the floor. <laughs> and i'm like whoa like power goes out dog poops himself <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, oh, hell no. What's, the, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> I thought that was, I mean, obviously for you, that wasn't fun. But like when you told me when I got back on Zoom with you later, you were like, yeah, my dog just like pooped all over the floor. I was like, that's honestly so funny. <laughs> it was just kind of like, it was like, power over. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, my audio wasn't working. It was just, ooh, it was a mess yesterday, a big old mess. Oh, yeah, a mess in multiple levels because yeah. my mess <laughs> was not your mess. Yeah, yep. <laughs> so then I got to give Faith credit, and she pouted about this a lot. I'm going to let y'all okay. know. No, 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 no. <laughs> she was, Faith no. was salty. Okay, I did not pout. <laughs> First, Tate asked me if I could dub the entire show, and I was like, "There's absolutely you misunderstood no what I way saying. I can do that." <laughs> I was like, you "I can't." I do meant, that. Like, you thought I meant like ab living? Like I say, "Hey, Faith, how's it going?" You're like, "Hey, Tate, how's it?" Going? You thought like that? <laughs> I thought I had no. to do the whole show. I was like, "I can't do that." There's no, no way I can do that. No, no. No, you did exactly what I was asking for, but you thought that you were playing a role. You had to do all your lines like, over again. It's like, oh my God, that's going to take me forever. I can't do they, that. They turned like <laughs> nine sages of white out there, people. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all I wanted her to do was just kind of introduce the segments where I'm just running my yapper over here. <laughs> like, this is Tate. He's running his yap about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, didn't need gosh. you to, like, ad lib all your, your parts yeah. again. <laughs> so, guys, sorry about the mess of a show yesterday. Um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it goes better today. Um, you know what, but... though? Here's the thing, though, Faith. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to cut you up. Yesterday was hot garbage for us. If you go back and look at our hot garbage, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not so it's like bad. Cold right, garbage. Ahead. Cold garbage. It's a lukewarm garbage. You yeah. know? All righty. Well, let's just dive into our first segment of the day. Um, the uh, Denver Broncos are going to release Russell Wilson uh, two years after the blockbuster trade. The Denver Broncos notified quarterback Russell Wilson on Monday he will be released March 14th at the start of the new league year, ending his tenure with the team only two years after a blockbuster trade to acquire the veteran. Wilson, who is 35, was benched during the final two games of the 2023 season which Denver finished with an 8-9 uh, to nine, eight and nine record opening the door for Monday's move. The Broncos acquired the nine-time Pro Bowl quarterback in a massive trade with the Seattle Seahawks in March of 2022 in which the Broncos gave up five draft picks including two first rounders and three players in exchange for Wilson and a fourth round pick and a fourth round pick. Denver only won 11 of the 30 games Wilson started. Uh, the timing of Wilson's release was a uh partially dictated by a trigger in his contract that guaranteed his $37 million salary for 2025 if he was still on the roster on March 17th. In cutting Wilson, the Broncos are on the hook for $85 million in dead money as a result of future guarantees um, accelerating onto the 2024 cap. The team could split those charges over two seasons via a post-June 1st release designation. Okay. So, you are so, it's kind of like a bad relationship. Like, you hate your 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 current person you're dating so much that you're willing yeah. to just $89 million. See ya. Oh, oh so, so it's still going to him? That's what that means? No, 39 of it, he gets $39 okay. million to okay. go away. And let me tell you something, Faith. You dropped me $39 million. Deuces, girl. Bye. I'm out. I'm See out ya. like a light during Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> 30, 39 million dollars just to go away, mm -hmm. and then you can go sign with another team and sign another contract. 
Yeah. If you if if you can do it, it's it's not a bad way to go. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna stick with this whole breakup <laughs> scenario. <laughs> yeah. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you can learn from from the Denver Broncos and Russell Wilson. Sometimes in life, you look at the you look at the girl you have or the guy you have, and you're like, man. Sh- I'd be so much happier if I went somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> like, you know what? <laughs> Russ was loved in Seattle. He was mm. loved in Seattle. They were going to build a statue with of Russ out front. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? Becky down the street is fine as hell. I'm going to go yeah, holler at It's very Becky. much like like tox- <laughs> toxic relationship vibes is what it seems like, honestly. And so Russ decides to leave Seattle. He he packs his stuff up, moves up, moves uh <laughs> actually moves down to yep. Colorado for the Broncos. And this thing was and it was just horrible. I mean, they everyone thought <laughs> yes. it was gonna be you know, everyone <laughs> thought it was gonna be great. They gave up a ton of players, gave mm-hmm. up a bunch of draft picks, gave up a bunch of money. And Russ we trust. He's like Broncos country less ride. All the way to divorce court. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and it, it, see, sometimes you got to look at things and say, listen, what I got going on in Seattle is nice. I'm I'm guaranteed to be, a, they, they're willing to lock me in long term. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a C, I'm going to be a Seattle great forever. When, mm-hmm. you know, I want to retire as a as a as a Seahawk, but no, Russ wants to cook, and <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> you know, sometimes you know, Russ was cooking kind of like they do those when some people are doing those deep fried turkeys in the house, <laughs> just burn the whole damn thing down. <laughs> well, Russ then burned up his kitchen because it's over. Denver. Hot garbage. Russ, yeah. Russ is in trouble. He's gonna get that thirty nine million, but Russ is thirty five. If he is not careful, mm-hmm. the move he makes in the next month determines his whole future. If okay. he goes on a team that's like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna invest in Russ. We're gonna give him a long term deal then great. But most likely it's going to be like, listen, this dude is 35. He's coming off of his two worst years of his career. He just got, you know, benched. And it's like, hey, we'll bring him in, but we're going to draft a quarterback. We're going to draft our future quarterback. He's going to, le- they're going to, he's going to learn from this guy. And then we're going to get rid of him and we're gonna bring in a start. Russ is at that point. He's at that Cam Newton point, where it's like, if you don't make the right decision this go around, this is the most important decision of his career at this point. And money should not be the case. Russ, Russ's pockets are padded, real yeah. nice, especially, yeah. especially that that thirty that thirty that something million extra- dollar. 39. <laughs> yeah, 39. 39 million. That extra peace out clause he got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if Russ if Russ works out and and talks to a team, there's a number of teams that need a quarterback. I'm telling you, I'm hitching my wagon to the Pittsburgh Steelers. We we just saw other quarterbacks get out of there like Jimmy G. He went he went to the Raiders. He doesn't have a job anymore, mm-hmm. and Jimmy G is going to be a career backup from this point on. I don't really see him. He may start here or there, kind of like Flacco did, but it's 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 over, in my opinion, for him being considered the franchise and the future of an organization, and and that's a that's a rough thing. Well, Russ could be that same situation. Does he pick the right situation? Even like when you look at like old time, a player 
Joe Montana, at that time considered one of the greatest of all time, he went to Kansas City, you know, but he was only in Kansas City a few years. No one is going to say, hey, there's very few places that's going to say, hey, this dude is 35. Let's lock him in long term. 35 is is 75 (laughs) and and, and NFL age. It's like dog years. (laughs) And (laughs) and and after working, watching the Broncos, Russ got fleas. And, you know, it's one of those things where <laughs> you, Russ got to be real careful. And I am I saw that the Steelers were kind of saying they're not really that interested. Man, he has to be or maybe like go to if it's if it's not them. There are three places I, w- I would I would beg and plead to try to go back to Seattle, but mm-hmm. I don't know how set they are there. They're moving, they're turning the chapter. Yeah, I was, on. I was about to ask you if you thought that maybe Seattle would take him back. How many people go back to their ex after they leave their ex and then they go yeah. to the next girl? <laughs> never, never <Yeah>. happens. <laughs> <laughs> never, it never <laughs> happens. So I think if he, if he can't get in with, um, let's say Pittsburgh and he can't get to Seattle. Atlanta needs a quarterback, but the thing with Atlanta is, will they go and draft another quarterback? You may have to go to a place that is, if you think maybe it's even better to go in and back up someone that Mm -hmm. maybe are on shaky ground. Uh, You know, look at Tampa Bay. Look at somewhere where there is there is a need for a guy like him going to maybe New Orleans or or I tell you what, go to New York. They got Danny Dimes up in New York, but he's more like two diamonds, you know, like maybe a diamond, <laughs> maybe two nickels. I would be <laughs> I, I, I would try to back up old Danny Dimes or someone like that. It cannot be about where am I going to get paid the most money? Where am I going to, or, and it can't be like a Cam Newton where it's like, I just got to land somewhere and then I'll make it happen. Because you're 35 and next year you're 36. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to look at you and say, we're going to build the future around you. You got to land. You got to stick the landing like you're an Olympic gymnast. You're like you're like you're Simone Bow. <laughs> you could, you got to dismount and land this like you are like you're the world's greatest gymnast or it's curtains. Yeah. And when you look at the Denver Broncos, they've set their franchise back 80 million dollars in cap space. That's kind of like what we were complaining about the Dallas Cowboys and that contract that Dak wants. Mm-hmm. It's going to. $80 million means there's a lot of players that aren't going to get re-signed. And that's a dangerous thing. So, Well, I mean, at least he's getting some money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of dudes get their, get their walk-in papers and they don't, they don't get $39 million. Yeah, that's very – it's 37 Sorry, $37 million. 30, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize <laughs> about that extra $37 30, 37 you know, wow. like what's what's two million? Faith, <laughs> I think it's time for you to go home. Here's a little parting thirty-seven million dollars. I wouldn't have to work another day in my life. Faith, Did just you? leave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hit him with the Deweys and bounce out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and someone's telling you at any point, GSMC is like, Faith, you just need to go away. Here is your thirty-seven million. You can go. You can go work somewhere else if you want to, but no. we just don't want you here. <laughs> I'm gonna move to Europe and then um, bother Tate all the time. And be like, I can't believe you fired me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is the place to be right here. It's the weather is real nice. And and everything. So listen, this this is not a bad place to be. I know, I'm jealous. All right, guys. <laughs> well, with that, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about um, President Joe Biden, LeBron James, and Nike congratulating Caitlin Clark for breaking the Billie Jean King, too. 
Yes, get her. she's on the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for breaking the all-time NCAA scoring record. So stick around, guys.